Hello and welcome to my channel. As you guys know, I'm uh, a huge fan of Action Jackson. So, you know, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to open up my, my Foot Locker because I have something in here that I haven't been able to do anything with for a while. And I want to go ahead and take it out and I want to try to uh, work with it today. And that's my Action Jackson uh, Parachute Plunge. Now, you know what? Some of you guys may have this as well and there's usually a problem with it. Let me show you what the problem is. The problem is, is the chute is probably, you know, been worn, lost, or destroyed, and that kind of like renders this not useless. I guess you can use it as a backpack, but you know, for its intended purpose, it's uh, it's not going to work. So I thought I'd try something today to uh, try to get these parachutes up and running, so that you can have fun with your Action Jackson, and he can do the parachute plunge like he had intended. To get my parachute plunge pack in order, I'm, I'm gonna need a chute, and uh, I stumbled across this one. You know, when my kids were smaller, we used to do water bottle rockets, and I looked at a lot of different recovery systems for those water bottle rockets when they were small, and I remember bumping into these. So I went online and I did a search for uh, a water bottle rocket chute, and I wanted something that was like cloth. This actually is ripstop nylon, and if you'll see it, it's about uh, 24 inches in diameter, which is a pretty good size for the Action Jackson, you know, scale is pretty good. They also make these in a 36, but I think that might be a little bit too much to shove into the uh, the backpack. So I went ahead and I, I purchased the uh, Strato Shoot. Now the Strato Shoot can be found easily on eBay and there's different prices for it. Uh, I was able to find it on this website for $14.95, however I made an offer for it for $14 bucks and was able to get it for $14 plus tax and it came super quickly. So let's go ahead and get this open. Let's see. Yeah, there's a little flag here that you're not going to need, so I'm going to discard that. And I'm just going to open up my chute. See, it's pretty, pretty nicely sized. Look at that. And then there are these lines, and they're attached in pairs. So I'm going to establish the pairs. There's one pair. Oops, let me move this out of the way before I get my lines tangled. Here's the second pair of lines and my last pair of lines and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw those together let me see if I can get that on camera I'm going to draw the lines together at the bottom and I'm going to pull the chute so I can like even them out and see if they're crossing see like there's one that's crossing there I'm going to try to take care of that let me see that's this line. I'm going to flip it over. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so now that I've established... Um, hang on. Maybe I can't get away from a cross one. Uh, once I've established my lines and my point where they're going to uh, fit into my chute, there's the point of attachment right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a uh, little zip tie. And there's a hole on top of your your parachute plunge. I'm going to go ahead and stick that through there and I'm going to attach my chute right there and I'm going to run it through the, um, the same hole so I've created like a little loop being stubborn. See so that's that's kind of like what you want. You want it to have it looped over and then you're just going to pull that through and I'm going to run it through the, uh, the snap here. And tighten it down. I think I want to leave a little bit of... Um, a little bit in there, just like a little slack, just in case I need to make adjustments later. So I'll trim that off and check the attachment. Looking good. And you'll see that there's like little loops here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the bulk of my line and I'm gonna go ahead and put it through there. And so I've successfully attached my chute. Now, the packing instructions I don't have anymore, but I remember how to pack it. So you're going to take the chute and you're going to fold it. Okay. And then you're going to take the line 
Now, um, you may want to loop it around the, the parachute, but I found that that kind of like traps the chute. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it into a loop, drop the loop inside the, uh, the pack, and push the chute on top of it so that when I toss it up in the air, what will happen is that uh, the chute will fly out and pull the line with it. Now, this is how they recommend that you, that you throw it. You take your hand, right? You keep it open, you just toss it up right there with your hand on the back and the back open. Let's go ahead and put this on Action Jackson and see how it looks. See, there it is, totally packed. And like I said, I'm, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the length on this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cut this, maybe make it shorter. Um, I don't know. But to install, uh, or to, to put the pack on Action Jackson, I usually, let me take off his helmet. I usually start at the top here. You know, maybe not. Maybe um, it's the legs. Yeah, that's, I remember now. It's the legs. Put the legs through these little harnesses down at the bottom. Now, some of you guys have chutes where you don't have all the pieces, and that's going to be hard. You know, as long as you can, I guess, get a loop going and attach it to Action Jackson, you should be okay. Right? And I love these, like, little fasteners that they have. These little clips. Pretty, pretty sturdy. I've had mine, you know, for about six months, and I've been kind of like playing with it. And I really haven't done anything with it because it didn't have a shoot. But I think I got it around Christmas time. Here you go. So there it is, right there. I've attached the shoot to Action Jackson. You can see it's pretty, pretty good, solid fit. So that when I do toss them up in the air, you know, it's it's going to, it's gonna help them get recovered I guess so there's the action Jackson shoot I hope you enjoyed this video you know um, you know I see them online all the time and you know they're about I guess 20 bucks for the for the parachute plunge uh, incomplete you know without the shoot so this is a good way to to go ahead and get the shoot for your for your parachute plunge you know uh, there are some mint conditioned pieces out there but man have you seen the prices on those? They're, they're pretty expensive. So, you know, that's uh, that's one way to, to get your, your parachute plunge in order. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed putting it together. You know, I really enjoy my Action Jackson. I can hardly wait to go out there and play with them. So I'm going to get some photos of uh, me tossing them up in the air so that you guys can take a look at him as uh, he's using this parachute plunge as intended. Well, you guys take care. And until the next time, uh, have fun with your Migos. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye now. As I was playing with my Action Jackson, I uh, kind of tore the little hinge that's there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick repair. I'm going to get a little acetone, and I'm going to clean off the base, just as like, um, you know, uh, to a preparation for applying this tape. Now, I got this weather guard. I'm sorry. It's like a weather guard tape. It's called Weather Seal Transparent, and I'm going to use that as my new hinge. This is a little thicker tape. It's used for repairing window panes. You know, actually, I'm going to have to get a, a piece. Give me a second. So I've taken uh, my tape and I've cut a little piece off. And I'm going to use that as kind of like my new hinge. So I'm going to bring it to the edge of the, of the parachute box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, close it a little bit. 
and then apply the tape. And then I'm going to work on this seam right here. So I'm going to make a, a new, I guess, attachment, new hinge for my box using the tape. And you can see it's pretty much an invisible uh, heel. So, you know what? I should have cut it back a little bit. Let me, let me get my little exacto knife and I'll cut it down to the to where the hinge ends. Have to cut a little deeper. Yeah, definitely I should have measured this beforehand. And over here, the seam ends right about there. Try not to cut into the plastic too much. There's my seam. Let's go ahead and open it up and see how it works. You know, I can see this working too for, yeah, it looks really cool. I can see this also working for, um, some of you guys have a, a, a parachute with a busted hinge. This would make a nice repair for a hinge too, if, uh, if it's already damaged. So again, just uh, water seal tape. It's a little thicker, it sticks a little bit better. Uh, the key to, um, to doing it, I think, is probably just applying the acetone on the bottom so you get a nice clean stick to it. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to work. So, until next time, see you guys later. Bye-bye.